you know those days when if something can go wrong, it will go wrong. I'm having one. <laughs> so I set off this morning, came around the corner, oil light came on on my bike. Well, I'm not going to risk damaging the engine. I don't believe there is no oil pressure and I know there's oil in it. So I think it must be the switch, which, yep, the oil light's gone out. Good. So that was good. And now one of the GoPros has died. <coughs> you can see the sun is coming up over there. I wanted to be on location just a little bit sooner because I want the light on the side of Salisbury Cathedral. Never mind, we have days like this. I have a feeling today could be a complete screw up. Let's get on with it and see what happens. A couple of weeks ago, I did a recce all around Salisbury Cathedral, looking for vantage points, angles from which to photograph it from. And these are some snaps I took on my phone, but I think we found some good locations. The intention for this morning was to come out a bit before the sun came up because the forecast said there would be a few clouds in the sky like there are now. Now when I looked out this morning there were stars, it was clear, not a cloud in the sky. I chose to come out later. That was a mistake. Never mind the fact the oil light and the GoPro's not working. I left too late. This is one of the things I'm always saying, <coughs> photographers don't be lazy. And I wasn't lazy, but I did let the fear get into the bloodstream. I thought, no, there's no point going down there now. I'll be climbing up this very slippery chalk hill in the dark. And there won't be any clouds in the sky, so the sunrise won't look great. And um, yeah, if I was up there now, it'd be brilliant. Seem to have a history of this at the moment, don't I? Never mind, we can always go back again. So, let's get on with it. I'll catch up with you on a very slippery hillside. I don't know if you can see it, there's a cathedral over there. Looks quite nice in this light, we might get away with it. Who knows, but I'm really cross with myself for not following that initial plan you know get up early in the morning go and have a look i mean you know what's the worst that could happen you know i might slide down a chalky slippery hill but i can always sit up there and wait and watch and just enjoy being there it really was a screw up on my part okay yes i know the oil light switch would have come on and the gopros would have messed about as well but i'd still have been there a good hour earlier than we are now a friend of mine said to me the other day, you know those things you don't really want to do in the morning? And you see, he calls it the toad. It comes from a book somewhere. So what you need to do is to get up in the morning and immediately eat the toad, that thing you don't really want to do because then it doesn't play on your mind all day. It's going to play on my mind all day that I didn't eat the toad. <laughs> And from here, we walk. So here we are, having climbed up the chalky muddy hill. It wasn't as slippery as I had thought, but I was very glad of my Daytona motorcycle boots. Look at those bad boys all covered in mud. I wore them in Iceland recently on a workshop I was running over there. Never a cold nor damp foot. Superb. I was about to dump my bearing trousers because climbing up the hill, I would have cooked in those. And it is a chilly morning. Great for riding a bike, not so great for climbing a hill. So, Salisbury Cathedral. The light on the cathedral is quite nice. You're probably struggling to see it with the wide-angle GoPro. But the light is nice. Now, it is unquestionable. Sorry, I have unquestionably screwed up. I should have stuck to that original idea, that plan to come out here in the pre-dawn, get your level, and... Then I think we'd have had some colours, some pinks. When I woke up, it was just stars and empty sky. Anyway, there we go. This is how we learn, isn't it? We screw up. So what does it look like over there? I think our options are to do something like this, maybe with a bit of this darkness down here. That looks quite good. Sneaking that focal length a bit. 
that probably works. It's not in focus because this camera's a bitch to focus and video. Or we can come in tighter. I also think we can go vertical with it and see if we get a bit of sky. So those are our options. What about our settings? Well, do we need to worry about depth of field? No, because everything is a long way away. What do we need to worry about? Shutter speed. Why? Because if we're shooting with a long lens, we don't want to get camera shake. Therefore, we can choose an aperture that will give us a fast enough shutter speed to make sure we don't get camera shake. And therefore, the picture is lovely and sharp. 640th at f8, 200 ISO. I'm going to include some of the sky because the sky is quite nice. The light's not bad. I like this dark bit at the bottom of the frame. How does that shot look? I still quite like it. The light on the cathedral's nice. The sky's not as good as it could be, but hey, I've got to stop beating myself up about that. I screwed up. Let's do another one and just take the focal length in a bit, a little more onto the cathedral. And I'm going to stick it in the middle. I like things in the middle. Which do you prefer? Rule of thirds or in the middle? Generally speaking, I go for in the middle, but you know what? I actually quite like that rule of thirds one because it's slightly balanced by that little bit of darker cloud in the top left corner of the frame. Don't forget, composition rules are not rules. They're guidelines. They're a way to get yourself started. You go for what looks good in the viewfinder and what you like because what you like is your style. If you want to find out more about composition, light, and all those camera setting things, then come and have a look at my online courses, my masterclass, because you know what? Watching endless clips on YouTube isn't going to teach you anything because it's like trying to make a beautiful picture from random pieces of different jigsaw puzzles. You can't learn everything from every one because different teachers teach in different ways, they teach in different styles, and you might miss something crucial because you're making up your own photography course out of bits of other people's different jigsaws. Have a look up here, go click the link, go get seven free lessons, see what you think. Right, enough of that, the lights just come up a little bit. I'm gonna do another one of those and I'm gonna do it vertically. Look at that, that's kind of nice. Let's go find somewhere else that I reckoned and have a look at it from down there because I think the light's pretty good for that location. Back down the chalky hill. I was just starting to put my cameras away when I spotted something. Cloud, breeze going that way, cathedral over there, sun over there coming in that way. If we wait here, I have a feeling if we're very lucky that cloud might come in behind it. I'm gonna sit here and see what happens. Of course, I just noticed there's a hint of rainbow starting over there. I don't know if you can see it. So there must be a bit of water in the air. Hope it doesn't come over here and land on me. Let's wait a minute, see what happens. Patience is the photographer's friend. So let's do it. We've now got that little bit of cloud running across the top of the frame. Yeah, I love that. I love that bit of cloud along the top. It has just made a world of difference to sort of hold the shot together because we've got the dark area at the bottom and then another dark at the top. So we're sandwiching the cathedral between the two. I think it was worth waiting. And this is the whole thing. You may have heard me say, I don't consider myself really to be much of a landscape photographer. It's not that I can't do landscape, of course I can. I'm just not generally speaking patient enough to stand around for 20 minutes as we just have waiting for a cloud to move through the sky. And that is what makes all the difference. Let's go and have a look somewhere else. So that was well worth doing. Even though I was late and even though I'm still beating myself up a little bit for not sticking to the plan being mindful of our surroundings, watching out for a cloud, what the weather's doing, whether the light's going to change, is the sun going to be switched off? All of those things add up. This is so important for a photographer to understand. Where's this truck going? Thank you, mate. Now, I think this is where we need to go. We're not going very far, and this is also the beauty of doing a recce. 
of having a look around finding these places to take the shots from because then when the weather comes right and although it's not ideal at the moment it isn't far off you can just go and do it if you'd like some inspiring stories and photo tips and free videos delivered to your inbox every week click the link in the top right of your screen go and sign up for my newsletter we'll also keep you posted about new photo workshops i'm in the process of setting one up in southern ireland at the moment and that is going to be a ripper here it is one of the beauties of a motorcycle you can park behind the double yellow line we can frame the cathedral spire between the trees but there's also just a hint just a hint of reflection happening on this water even though the water's moving there is just a hint of it so what are we doing lens I'm only using my favourite 18 to 55. Works well for this sort of thing. Let's frame up a shot and have a look. So even with the lens wide like this at the 18 end, the best place. Why has this camera stopped recording? I've got a problem on this one now. I said if something can go wrong, it will. It's just doing a weird thing. I've just got to, I don't know if you can see it. It just says storing on the back. I have no idea what it is doing now. It says it's got a problem with the card or something. Turn it off. Take the battery out. Reboot it. <laughs> Funny how these things happen, isn't it? Right. Seems to be working again. Where was I? I was about to bend my knees. Let's see what happens. Yep, it's recording again. Okay, so... Let's bend the knees a bit, see if we can lose a bit of that twig action. You see that little bit of reflection just going on down here? I wonder if we can work with that. Don't want that twig. So, I mean, it's moving this way a touch, doesn't it? That's all it is. That is all composition is. I'm going to do this vertically. Now, this time, we probably do want a little bit of depth of field because of these twigs going on, you know, the trees. I'm going to use F9. 320th of a second looks pretty good. And there we go. Yeah, it's not bad. I, I do like that line coming through the water and I like, I like the branches of the trees. This would work better as an autumnal thing. And once again, it would work so much better if we had a bit of cloud going on. There's a dark cloud coming over here. Ooh, I think we're gonna get some rain. Look at that, the sky's gone really, really dark. Now that cloud would be good, but of course now, the sun is disappearing behind those clouds over there, which could completely screw us over. There is another spot looking across the water meadows over there, which I would like to explore. How long is this cloud going to last? I think we could be screwed for the light now. We've got one shot. I'm not going to mess around here any longer because I want to go down the path, see what we can do down there. I told you everything would go wrong today, didn't I? You've got to be really careful because if you think it's going to happen, it probably will. So not only have we lost the light on the cathedral, which is just sneaking back a touch, the sky's going black, I can feel some raindrops, and my glasses have just broken. <laughs> Let's look from here. It isn't ideal, it's not great. I think the little test shot I did from here before worked considerably better. The light's just coming up, but the sky is so empty. You see what I mean? It's just that the cathedral just looks kind of dead now. The sky is dead. There's a few little sheepy clouds there. That's not so bad, using those clouds along the top of the frame. When I came over here before, there were sheep in the field, so we had a few little sheepies going on down the bottom there. You have got to love a sheep. Let's take that shot quick because the light is changing. The light's just come up on the cathedral. Just a hint of it. Is it going to still be there? Take the shot. Just get on with it. The light just went, but it's not working brilliantly. The only thing which really does work is that little line of clouds going on across the top. I don't know. I'm going to walk on down this path a bit further. Notice how much walking about we're doing. I kind of like the way it's framed here. 
with the trees. I quite like the gate, but I don't like that green no public access sign. The frame is nice, the light is not good. From this angle, the sun is too far around. The sun's over there and it's not getting enough textures onto this side. So this is a later in the day shot, maybe sort of three in the afternoon. Right now it's about 10, 30, 11. I'm gonna do the shot anyway, just so that we can do a bit of a comparison with light because light is king. Light is the most important thing in the world. You've got to understand light. Go and do my masterclass if you're struggling with it. And if you've already done my masterclass and you're still struggling with light, do the exercises because it is all in the practice. It's in the doing, not in the trying to intellectualize. Let's have a go at this. Do I need to shoot you any video? Probably not. If I just shoot a wide frame like that with the gate, you see what I mean about that green sign? Even though I like the shape of the cathedral, if we sneak the focal length in a bit, it will look better still. Although the light on the cathedral is not great. Let's go for one more and then we're gonna have a quick comparison. Let's lose the gate and just have a few twigs in the corners. I do love a twig, shit, the light's starting to go. Do it quickly, there. Yeah, it's not a bad composition. It's a nice sky. We've got a nice shape. There's more detail in the cathedral than I thought there would be, in all honesty, but the light is not exciting on it, is it? So there we go. We've got a little bit of a difference between the light from starting out first thing this morning, waiting for those clouds to move. We've got some rather nice shots from high up. This area can work very, very well, but we've learned this is a later in the day shot. So the sun is further out and the light is working better. Hope you found that useful. If you did, please don't forget, hit that like button, share and subscribe to the channel. And if you would like to find out more about my photography tours and workshops, which I trust me, they rock. There's a little square popping out next to me right now. Go and click on that. Come and find out all about it. I wish you well. See you next time.